Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And hi everyone So let's continue our discussion on a technique and theorem in finding inverse Laplace transform So in this video we will focus on partial fraction Okay where we use method of comparing Okay coefficient So let's do with uh, an example Okay, so we need to find what is inverse Laplace transform for s divided by s squared minus 2s plus 2 multiplied with s squared plus 2s plus plus 2. So we will use partial fraction. So we need to uh, represent our rational function into a partial fraction. But before we do that, okay, so we must make sure that our our rational function is a, a proper function by uh, check checking the power for the numerator and denominator. So what I mean is referring to the highest power. Okay. So for this case, for the numerator, the highest power is equal to one, and then for denominator. So the highest power will be s squared multiplied with s squared. So this the highest power will be equal to to four. So meaning that uh, our numerator has a lower power than denominator. So that mean uh, our rational function is a proper function. So we, so so now we can uh, straight away represent our rational function into a partial fraction so let's do that so we have over here s okay s divided by s squared minus 2 s plus 2 and then multiply with s squared plus 2 s plus 2 okay so in term of the partial fraction okay so in term of the partial fraction so this we can represent as okay we can check this one okay so we have two quadratic equations so this is quadratic equation and this is also a quadratic equation so if we refer to type of partial fraction okay so this one so we will have for quadratic equation which is second type of partial fraction so we we will have a linear uh, numerator and also this is your quadratic uh, uh, equation or quadratic function so okay so for this one for partial fraction so we will have uh, a okay so a we have a s plus b divided with s squared minus 2 s plus 2 and then uh, plus with uh, we have a and b we have used a and b so the next one will be c s plus d and then after that for this one which is s squared plus 2 s plus 2 okay all right so the next one is that okay so we will use a method of comparing coefficient okay to find what is our our value of a b c and D. So now we will use method of comparing coefficient okay, to find our value of uh, A, B, C, D. Okay. So in order to do that, okay, so what we need to do is that, okay, so we can multiply Okay, our partial fraction with the denominator, which is s squared to minus 2 s plus 2 multiplied with s2 plus 2 s plus 2. So now we will have over here s equal to a s plus b s squared minus 2 s plus 2. Okay, and then plus c s plus d divided by s squared plus 2 s plus plus 2 okay and then this one we will multiply with our denominator 
which is s squared minus 2s plus 2 and then multiply with s squared plus 2s plus plus 2 so when you multiply this okay of course we can we need we, we will multiply this with the first term and then also this one with the second term okay so when we, when we multiply this so this one will be cancelled out and then the remaining the remaining is this one so this will give us a s plus b and then multiply with s squared minus 2 s plus 2 okay and then for this one we will cancel the this one and this one so we will have c s plus d and then multiply with uh, s squared okay i think this one wrong so this one will be cancelled out so this one s squared plus 2 s plus 2 and then for this one this one will be cancelled out so you have s squared okay minus 2 s plus plus 2 for this one okay right so the next one is that we can uh, expand this equation so we can expand this equation so so that we can have over here okay so we have a s multiply with this one this one and this one and then after that this one and b multiply with this one this one and this one so you have a s power of 3 first with a s multiply with s squared and then a s multiply with 2 s so meaning that you we will have plus 2 a s squared and then a s multiply with 2 so we will have 2 uh, a s and then after that we will do for b so we have plus b s squared plus 2 b s plus 2 b okay done for the first term and then we will do the sec for the second term so we have uh, plus c s power of 3 plus c s multiply with negative 2 s will be uh, negative 2 c s squared and then c s multiply with 2 so we have plus 2 c s okay and then now we will do for d so we have d s squared okay minus 2 d s plus 2 2 d Okay, alright. So the next one is that in method of comparing coefficient, so we need to rearrange okay this equation so that you need to check in term uh, the power of s. So we can uh, uh, what okay, that we can put it together, okay, and then we can do uh, factorize it, okay, like this one and this one, and then this one will be together because we have this one s power of 3 and then we have s power of 2 which is this one and then we have s this one this one and this one and this one and then lastly we have a constant value so we need to rearrange this okay according to the s term okay so over here so we will have a s power of 3 so we will look for s power of 3 so we have only 2 so you have plus c s 3 okay the next one is that we find uh, s power of 2 term so this one okay plus 2 a s and then this one plus b s squared Okay, and then this one, no. So, this one, no. So, we will have this negative 2 C S squared. And then, lastly, we have plus D S squared. Okay, so the next one, we will look into S term. So, we have this one, 2 A. Okay, S. Okay, plus 2 B S. Okay, plus with... 2 C S and then minus 2 D S. 
Okay. And then lastly, okay, so we will do for S power of 0 or constant value, which is this one, no. So we have here. So we have 2B. No, this one, no, we have S here. So we have, we need, yeah, this one. So plus 2, 2D. Okay. So the next one is that we, can, we will do factor, we will do, uh, fact, we will factorize it, okay, based on the S term. So for this one, so we have A plus C and then multiply with S power of 3, okay, plus, and then this one we have S squared, S squared, S squared, S squared, and S squared. So we have 2A plus B minus 2C plus D and then we have S squared and then for S term this one so you have 2A plus 2B plus 2C minus 2D and then S and then lastly we have 2B plus 2D okay plus 2B plus 2 2D. Okay, right. So we can rewrite this one. Okay, so that we can see it clearly. So I just rewrite again. So this will give us S equal to S equal to A C A plus C S power of three plus 2A plus B minus 2C plus D and then S squared and then plus okay 2A plus 2B plus 2C minus 2D and then this one multiply with S and then lastly we have 2B plus 2 2D okay so now we will do uh, comparing method of comparing coefficient. So we will compare uh, the left side of the equation with the right side of the equation based on the S, S term. So for like this one, see for this one, for S power of 3, we don't have any S power of 3 on the left. So, meaning that A plus C will be equal to 2, 0. So, we have A plus C will be equal to 0. Okay, this one for S power of 3 term. Okay, so the next one is that, okay, for the S power of 2 term, okay, we don't have any S squared over here on the left. So, meaning that this will be equal to to zero. So you have S squared term. Okay, this will give us zero also. So you have 2A plus B minus 2C plus D which is equal to zero. This one is second second equation. So what you mean by company coefficient? So we refer to S term and then we compare. So over here, for example, you have S. So here also we have S. And then the, the coefficient for the left side is equal to 1. So this one will be equal to, to 1. Okay, so we have S term. Okay, so we have 2A plus 2B plus 2C minus 2D equal to 1. Okay, this will be our third equation. And then lastly is our S power of 0, which is 2B plus 2D equal to 0 because we don't have uh, s power of 0 okay on the left side of the equation so we have 2b plus 2d equal to 0 this is our fourth fourth equation okay all right so if you look over here okay so you have 2b plus 2d 2B plus 2D and then we have AC equal to 0 and then 0, 1 and 0 so we can use our calculator actually to find 
uh, the value of A, B, C and D. So what we can do is that Okay, so what we can do is very simple. Okay, so we will use uh, our calculator and then go to uh, the equation. Okay, so we will go to equation and then uh, we have simultaneous equation and then we have four unknown because we have A, B, C and D. So we have four unknown. Okay, four unknown and then after that we just plug in the equation where a is is represented by x b is is y and then c is z and then the next one will be t will be for d okay so let's do it so we have a is equal to 1 okay for the first uh, equation over here so a equal to 1 so 1 so b will be equal to 0 Okay, so b equal to 0. So b will be equal to 0. And then c will be equal to 1. And then after that, t will be equal to 0. And then uh, this will be equal to 0. So we will do the second question, uh, the second equation. So you have 2, okay, 1, negative 2, and then... 1. This one will be equal to 0. Alright. So, let's do uh, the second, uh, the third equation, which is 2, because we have 2, 2, 2, 2, negative 2, and then 1. So, you have 2, and then 2, minus 2, oh, sorry, sorry. it's not minus 2. 2 and minus 2. This will be equal to 1. Is it? Is it equal to 1? Okay, yeah, it's equal to 1. Okay, and then after that we have 2b, meaning that a equal to 0. Oh. Okay, so a will be equal to 0. Okay, and then after that 2, and then 0, and then d will be equal to 2. This will give us 0 value. Okay, so x will be equal to 0. So that means a is equal to 0 for our case here. So a will be equal to 0. Okay, so our a, because x here equal to 0. So a will be equal to 0. So a will be equal to 0. And then y is for b. So, B will be equal to 1 over 4. And then after that, uh, for C, C equal to 0. And then lastly, for D, okay, D will be equal to negative 1 over, over 4. Okay, negative 1 over, over 4. Okay, alright. So, what we need to do is that, we will plug in value of A, B, C and D into the equation. Okay. So, which is this one. Okay. So, this will be equal to. So, we have S divided by S squared minus 2S plus 2. S squared plus 2S plus 2. Right. And then this will be equal to A is equal to 0. So you have A equal to 0. So you have 0 multiplied with S as 0. B will be equal to 1 over 4. So you have 1 over 4 divided by S squared minus 2 S plus 2. And then plus C will be equal to 0. So 0. And then the the B and uh, D will be equal to negative 1 over 4. So negative 1 over 4. Okay, S squared plus 2S plus plus 2. Okay, alright. So this will be equal to 1 over 4. 1 over 4S squared minus 2S plus 2. Okay, and then minus 
1 over 4 uh, 1 over s squared s squared plus 2 s plus plus 2 this one 1 over 4 ok so this one 1 over 4 ok so this the one and then we have already our partial fraction so the next step is that we will find the inverse plus plus transform for this one ok right so let's do that ok where we need to find the inverse plus plus transform so we have already ok so we need to find inverse plus plus transform inverse plus plus transform ok for 1 over uh, 4 ok s squared minus 2 s plus 2 this one and then minus with 1 over 4 s squared plus 2 s plus 2 ok we will use linearity properties where we can split this one ok so we will have inverse Laplace transform ok 1 over 4 s squared minus 2 s plus 2 and then the next one we have inverse Laplace transform for 1 over 4 s squared plus 2 s plus plus 2 ok this one right ok so we can bring 1 over 4 and then this one ok outside of the operator the inverse Laplace transform operator so we will have 1 over 4 inverse Laplace transform k1 over s squared minus 2 s plus 2 okay and then this one minus 1 over 4 and then inverse Laplace transform 1 over s squared plus 2 s plus 2 okay this one and then we will use uh, a completing method uh, completing squared okay so we will use completing squared so that we can uh, factorize this so we will have 1 over 4 and then negative 1 ok in completing a square so we have negative 2 over here so we have negative 2 s over here meaning if you divide by 2 so you have negative 1 so we have s ok negative 2 s ok so we have over here negative 2 s so we have negative uh, negative 1 ok and then we have plus 2 plus 1 and then plus plus 2 ok alright and then for this one we have uh, 1 over 4 and then inverse and plus transform for 1 over s squared plus 2s plus 1 minus 1 plus 2. Okay, alright. So this will give us 1 over 4 inverse Laplace transform. Okay, 1 over Okay, so this will give us 1 over okay so this will give us okay so we need to this one will be minus so you we need to s minus 2 s plus 1 okay negative 2 minus 2 will be plus 1 okay and then minus 1 over 4 inverse of plus transform okay 1 over s squared plus 2s ok so 2s this one will be plus 1 and then this one will be plus 1 ok plus 1 ok so if you look over here ok so now we can factorize this ok ok we can factorize this oh i think i forgot squared over here 
So we can do factorize this so that we can uh, simplify it. So negative 1, 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 1. And then minus 1 over 4 inverse Laplace transform 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 1. Okay. So, so that's the reason why we minus 1 plus 1. So that we can take, we can have plus 1 over here. So that we can simplify it. Uh, and then become s minus 1 squared. And then same thing goes to this one. Because we need to use plus 1. So we need to minus it with 1. And then after that we can have s plus 1. Okay. So the next one. Okay. This is what we call completing uh, squared. Okay. Completing square ok so the next one is that we will do uh, uh, first shift theorem ok so we have s minus 1 so we can have s over here we don't have any s as a uh, denominator same thing with this one so we have s minus 1 and then s plus 1 ok so for this case s minus 1 so we can replace uh, this one s minus 1 with s Okay, and then same goes to this one. And then we will use first shift theorem for inverse Laplace transform. Okay, which is this one. Okay, so we have E1 over 4. Okay, E, our E value is equal to S negative 1 or our A value is equal to 1. So we have T inverse Laplace transform 1 over S plus 1. Okay, and then after that, minus 1 over 4e. Now, our e is negative 1. So, that because this one s minus a. So, a, our a is negative 1 for this case. So, we have 1 over negative e t. And then, inverse Laplace transform k1 over uh, s plus 1. I think I forgot about squared here. Okay. S squared plus 1. Okay. So, if we refer to the our uh, table of Laplace transform. Okay. So, for 1 over S plus 1, which is we referring to this one. So, this will be, we can use this one where A, our A value is equal to 1. Because S squared, because we have S squared but we don't have any S as the numerator. So, we will use this one. And then A squared where our A value is equal to 1. So the inverse Fourier transform, uh, inverse Laplace transform for this one is sine A, A T, which is A equal to, to 1. So, so this will give us 1 over 4 E T, okay, sine T, okay, minus 1 over 4 E negative T, and then we have sine, sine T. Okay, because our A value for this one is uh, A equal to 1. Same thing goes with here. Say A equal to 1. Okay, and then since we have uh, uh, A here, which is 1 and 1, which is similar pattern with this one. So, we can just uh, inverse uh, the this uh, function into, into time domain using this table of Laplace transform. So, this is our inverse Laplace transform for uh, the equation, which is 1 over 4 e t sine t minus 1 over 4 e negative t sine sine t. Okay. So, we, we do for this case, okay, we do method of comparing coefficient, which is this one, where we compare coefficient uh, in terms of S term, okay, we compare the left side of the equation with the right side of the E, the equation. Okay, alright, so to come up with the simultaneous equation and then after that we find our A and, and B. Okay, so hopefully you understand this method to find our inverse Laplace transform and then thank you for watching. And then see you again. Okay, bye.